Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I am your host, Shabar Judah Israel. On the behalf of Solid Foundation, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you will. The topic of discussion will be concerning reincarnation. And it's a very short topic on today. I just want to use this book in reference to reincarnation. Now, this book that I will be using is, um, uh, the book is titled, Judeo Trembles on the Wrong. Judeo Trembles on the Wrong by Rudolf R. Winsor. The untold details of the Greek and Roman military domination of ancient Palestine during the time of Jesus of Galilee. Now, this book was very expensive, guys. Long time ago, I believe I tried to order this book. This book was over a thousand something dollars. And so I just waited over a long period, period of time until it went down. And I actually got this book for $59.99. I don't know what the price is on this book right now, but I got it for $59.99. Okay, guys. And in this book by Rudolph R. Winsor, he is telling you some truth, man, some hardcore truth in this book. So I advise you guys, you know, that may not know about this book, come across this book, to read this book with an open mind. To read this book with an open mind, please. This is the biography of Rudolph Winster. Rudolph R. Winster was born in Long Branch, New Jersey after living and a number of Jersey communities, his family settled in Philadelphia where he attended community college, studying in psychology and political science, Gratz College, where he majored in Hebrew slash Aramaic studies, and Temple University, where he majored in the Middle Eastern studies. In addition, he has four sons and a daughter. So this man right here, Rudolph Windsor, is a, 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 a legit scholar, okay? He relates of his book, my motive for writing this book is to reveal additional knowledge concerning what really transpired 2,000 years ago in the Roman-dominated Judea Palestine. Professor Windsor is a strong advocate of economic and cultural development of the black community. And serving, this, and, and serving the community, he has been a member and a president of several organizations. He was a delegate to the Black Power Conference in 1968 and was, and was designated as a delegate on the behalf of Ethiopian Israelites to meet with Mr. Maconian, an official of the Ethiopian mission to the United Nations in the early 1970s. Moreover, Professor Gwenster is the author of the books from Babylon to Timbuktu, I also have that one. And the Valley of the Dry Bones, I also have that one. And as a result of some difficulties with several book companies, Mr. Winsor established his own book company called the Winsor Golden Series. Over the years, Professor Winsor has appeared on radio and TV talk shows, lectured at congregations, organizations, universities, and has traveled to Europe and the Middle East. And so this is Mr. Rudolph Winster, the author of Judea Tremors on the Rome. So I'm going to show you something in terms of reincarnation for those who don't believe in it. Now on page, let's see, let's see, page 47, I will begin to read. This is page 47, talks about corruptibility and immortality, right? Corruptibility and immortality. As far as the this is page forty seven. So take notes. As far as the bodies are concerned, the Essenes believe that the flesh is corruptible, which is perishable, and temporary. But that the soul of a man is immortal; it lives forever, and that the soul is derived from God via the discerning air, and it is incorporated in the flesh of man, like a bird in a cage, into which the souls are attracted by divine natural force right however when the soul is liberated at the decay which is death of the body the soul is free and in a sense up from a long captivity in the flesh thus the Essenes believe in the immorality of the soul Jesus believed also in the immorality of the soul it is written that the Sadducees came to Jesus and said that there was a woman that married seven brothers and they all died during her lifetime. 
now in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For, for they all had her, right? Wait a minute, guys. For they all had her, right? It says, Jesus answered and said unto them, You do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Which is Matthew 22nd chapter, 23rd verse through the 30th verse. Now, the kind of resurrection that Jesus talked about is when the soul is freed from long captivity in the body and the soul resurrects or rises upward towards heaven. And this resurrection, the soul, for example, which was in Mr. Williams' body, rises up to heaven. Now this soul that rises up into heaven is only in a spirit form and had no need to marry like terrestrial mans do. When our soul rise from our earthly bodies, we no longer need earthly passions like food, water, shelter, and money, nor sex. Now watch what is highlighted in the golden area. When the soul re-enters another body, again, this is called reincarnation. The ancient Hebrews believed in reincarnation. Let me read it again in the highlighted areas. When the soul re-enters another body again, this is called reincarnation. The ancient Hebrews believed in reincarnation. Jeremiah the prophet relate to us that the Lord said to him, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. What the Lord meant was that before I formed thee in the belly, he knew Jeremiah's soul and his destiny. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Another example, Joel relates the following. Naked came I out of the womb, out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. This is Job chapter 1 verse 21. Job meant that he would return to the womb of his new mother in the next reincarnation of the next lifetime. And this is on page 48. Dealing with Judea Tremors on the Rome by Rudolph R. Winster. So there you have it. For you Hebrew Israelites out there that want to still continue to push this hell doctrine, preach and teach this hell doctrine. Jews do not believe in hell. I already proved it. The Hebrews, the ancient Hebrew Israelites, our ancestors, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, our ancestors believed in reincarnation or what you would call regeneration. They never teach, preach, or taught about hell. Okay? So, you Hebrew Israelite camps out there that believes in this horrendous subterraneous place. I suggest you to study more to show yourselves approved. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Share the video. Shalom.